All right. Before we go on, I got to explain rebounding balance and defensive balance. So, uh, defense out. Run the play, and when, you, when I say freeze, you got to freeze, okay? Go, go, go. Freeze. Okay. The weak side player, which is, that'd be you, right? Because you got the ball there, whatever. You're going to come back. You're, gonna, you're going to half court. Yeah, you're protecting, right? You got, you've got the, uh, the middle right here. Um, yeah. And, no, you've got rebound and you've got middle right here. Let's get that shot. Let's, let's, let's do it again. Let's get that shot from right here. And then when the shot's taken, everybody freeze. Go, go, go. Here comes the jump shot. Everybody freeze. Okay. Coach Wooden trained us that when we shot the ball, we always moved into this area right in here like this. Always. If you didn't, you know, I, uh, somebody, one of the players asked Coach Wooden, what if I don't do that? He said, well, you're going to have a nice seat next to me. Because that's, that's part of defensive balance. So you get right over here like this, and you're going back. See, you don't have to be back. <coughs> you just have to be going back. So we got three rebounders, we got a long rebounder, and we got a protector. Every time, every time a shot was taken, this is what we had. This is called rebounding balance, and it's also called, wh wh where do you go after offense? Transition. Defense, defensive balance. Okay, because we pressed. We always pressed, so our, our press was set up. Right there. If you get a guy shooting over here watching a shot, then uh, <clears throat> he's not in a position to, to press. Unless he's going, you know, going to be the one pressing. But we had big guys always up front, pressing, and the guards were back here. But we had one big guy going back on it. On it. But you had two guys up front and one in the middle. You could set up a 2-2-1. Two, two, and I make you set up a 1-2-1-1 one, 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 so you can trap, possibly. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Okay. And I'm not talking about, we did this most of the time. We did it all the time. Because it is very pivotal to your success, your game success, is to be protecting and have three rebounders. We got a lot of offensive rebounds. We had good athletes. But we always had three guys around the board. And uh, a few years ago, I watched 100 NCAA games. And I kept stats on rebounding. And uh, 50 percent of the time the player that touched the ball first on the rebound did not get it. It was somebody else. 70 percent of the time the team that had the most players around the ball, the rebounding ball, got the ball no matter what the height. So you want players around the around the basketball. That's what this is. Okay? 